Hello, this is Robert from Microchip Technology. Today's video will cover using the integrated op amps to power multi-voltage I.O. or MVIO for short in the AVR-DB microcontroller. I will also cover how to modify the Curiosity Nano to enable MVIO. If you haven't seen the introductory video for MVIO, I have linked it in the video description. One of the requirements to use MVIO is a secondary power supply, which sets the operating level for these I.O. Generally, the MVIO does not require a lot of current, so the integrated op amps on the microcontroller can be used. In some cases, the internal resistor ladder of the op amp can be repurposed to create the reference level without using any other peripherals or external components. Ordinarily, a resistor divider is a poor choice for a power rail. The current pulled by the load will change the equivalent impedance of the bottom resistor and thus the power supply voltage. One of the most common use cases for op amps is to act as a high impedance voltage follower. In this configuration, the op amp buffers the voltage set by the two resistors and isolates it from the load. This allows the power supply to run at a stable voltage as the load changes. To demonstrate this peripheral, I will start with the code example linked in the video description. There is an Atmel Studio and an MPLAB X version of this example. Within the example are three separate projects, one that uses the internal resistor ladder, one that uses external resistors, and one that uses the DAC peripheral. For visual purposes, I'll be using the demo with external resistors. However, this is the same theory of operation as the internal resistor ladder. In this project, I have also added code to enable the MVIO pins as digital outputs and to turn on the LED. Now that the software has been created, the Curiosity Nano must be modified to separate MVIO from the main power supply. To do this, resistor R204 must be disconnected. Just above this resistor is J212, which is an unpopulated MVIO power supply header. It is recommended to solder a pin header to these pins. Next, the op amp power supply needs to be connected to the MVIO supply. The code example uses op amp 0, which outputs on pin RD2. Connect a wire from this pin to the MVIO power supply. To visually show the changing voltage levels on the MVIO, the MVIO pins were set up as active high outputs. The output level will vary as a function of the supply voltage. An LED connected to one of these outputs will vary in brightness depending on the output level. The new MVIO peripheral provides a new standard in IO flexibility. MVIO removes the traditional headaches of level shifters and simplifies integration with the wide array of digital devices on the market. For more information about the AVRDB family, please see the links in the video description. Thank you for watching. If you like this content and would like to see more of this, please like and subscribe.